Holy shit. Someone new has appeared. DSP has more paperwork added to his shit. United States Bankruptcy Court, Western District of Washington. McCarthy and Holthus LLP. Res courtesy notification electronic filing, NEF. For Chapter 7. Hey! Request to be added or removed from courtesy notification of electronics filing, NEF. Request courtesy notification of electronic filing. I am an ECF participant and I wish to receive courtesy electronic notice of all documents filed in above reference case. I understand the courtesy electronic notification will be delivered via the court's case management slash electronic filing system as a notice of electronic filing, NEF, and that I must be a registered user of the court's system to be eligible for courtesy NEFs. I firmly understand the quest does not impose any obligation on the court, the debtors, or any party in the case to deliver courtesy copies of any orders, pleadings, or other documents entered on a docket by mail, telephone, facsimile, or any other means of electronic transmission. <clears throat> Lancey Olson, courtesy local forms. All right, but it's like, well, who who is McCarthy and Holthus? But oh, oh, hey, areas of practice, appeals, bankruptcy, compliance, eviction, litigation, real property, disposition of default of assets, United States trustees and queries and motions. But here's the thing. It's like, oh, it must be Mid First Bank from Connecticut. Mid First Bank from Connecticut trying to make sure they keep tabs on this, right? Eh. The operating in California, Washington, Arkansas, Oregon. Nevada, Idaho, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. This is not Mid First Bank. This is not the state of Connecticut or whatever. No, this is the state of Washington. Huh, who has a condo in the state of Washington? DSP has a condo in the state of Washington. Rot row raggy. Is he about to lose his what condo? Along with the Connecticut condo? Without anything he can say or do about it because it's the company doing it with lawyers and all that. Like, holy shit. I'm going to do chapter 7 try to save my house, dude. i got to save the house. <laughs> then that mortgage company steps in and goes, yeah, no, we're taking the house. Fuck you. Like, holy shit. He might be even more bone than originally thought. Like, holy shit. And right here, it might be the Wakanda Mortgage Company. Since from the looks of it, the law firm specializes in the default of mortgages. But well, it's a Connecticut condo, but they don't seem to operate in that state. Ruh ro raggy. Ah. This, the first name listed as someone who has been licensed 40 years. That dude is the, going to go old school on Phil's line ass. Looks like they're a national firm with specialty in bankruptcies, so most likely representing one of Phil's creditors. Ah, oh, this is going to be fucking great. Ah, oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Although, for a case like this, they're probably just going to send an associate lawyer at the firm, not an actual partner. But still, are you kidding me? DSP, this is getting better and better and better. Rio property, disposition of defaulted assets. Ooh, could this be the company that they're going through to uh, audit his stuff? Ooh. Well, I said, like, either Mid First Bank hired them to act as potential local representation. Uh, local representation. Still could be a thing, but they don't. You think they would hire someone from the state of Connecticut. So instead of going, all right, well, we got to send them something in the mail. Eight days later, or we got a response. Be like, no. Dude, they're right down the street from here. Just hand it over to them when you're on your way home. Or perhaps the trustee already looking at Phil's shit and went, what the tap dancing fuck is this nonsense? <laughs> uh, uh, some law firm sent this paper to the court it's a request to get copies of any paperwork including the bankruptcy stuff that DSP already entered that was completely total bullshit that comes up between now and the actual trial the big question is who are they are they independent or representing one of his creditors uh but again, it's for defaulted mortgage cases, so that makes it highly likely that it's MidFirst Bank. But they don't operate out of Connecticut, they operate out of Washington. Now, yes, it could be the MidFirst Bank from Connecticut going, 
We should probably hire a local Washington firm. Could be that, but why wouldn't they? Obviously, you got to figure a mortgage company slash bank like that probably have their own lawyers from their own state. Like, why would they hire another state's lawyers when they probably have 20 on hand and from their state? Makes me think that it's the Wakando mortgage company. Ah. We have no way to know yet. It doesn't say they're representing someone, just that they want to be notified of filings. So, 50% chance at Smith First Bank, for some reason, hiring Washington lawyers instead of using their own lawyers. Or maybe they didn't want to... Eh, it could be that they didn't want to fly their lawyers out there, because... <laughs> All right, well, let's see. It's this many hours of a flight, plus you got to get there two hours early, and we're going to sit there, and then we're going to need to get a hotel. We're going to need to get this, like, you know what? We'll just hire someone from there. It'll be like a tenth of the cost. So, again, 50% mid-first bank. But the fact that it's a Washington company and not a Connecticut lawyer company makes me wonder if his Wakanda mortgage company is getting a little nervous about this. And said, you know what? We should probably stay up to date on this, just in case. Anyways, what do you guys think? Mm, if I had to flip a coin, I'd say it's the Wakando people. But I've been wrong before. A lot. So it could very well be the Mid-First Bank from Connecticut. So yeah, tell me down in the comment section below, who do you think it is? And as always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.